Okay, so what is support? Support is the common low, okay? Support is the common low. We're going to be drawing these, and I'm going to take you over into the Thinker swim charts and do some live demonstrations with you after I just explain these few things. Resistance is the common high or the ceiling. And what you need is at least two pivot points during a specific time frame, okay? And it's always going to show a zone. Uh, it's going to be a zone. And, and the reason I have a picture of this, this kid on the trampoline, this is how I remember it, okay? The, the, the support of the, is the floor, which is the bottom of the trampoline, okay? And the resistance is the ceiling. So if this kid's jumping back and forth, up and down, up and down, if he hits his head on the ceiling, he's going to pop back down. If he hits the trampoline with his feet, he's going to pop up, okay? This is exactly what the candlesticks will do. When you have your support and resistance lines set up correctly, okay? They will bounce off the support and bounce off the resistance. And you'll learn how to trade in this zone according to what the candlesticks are doing. Okay, here we go again. <clears throat> Support is the floor, resistance is the ceiling. The trades that you will be taking when, when it hits the support line are calls to be taking up trades. If it hits the resistance, you'll be taking puts or down trades. Support and resistance act as the walls that the price will hit, bounce off of, and then reverse. When support or resistance areas are broken, they normally become the opposite of what they were. For example, if a support level is broken, it will then become a resistance level. If a resistance level is broken, it will then become a support level. Well, what does all that mean? When I first read this 12 months ago, I was so lost, I didn't have a clue. But it came with, with practice and and really just trying to look at examples of what this really meant and watching the markets even for you know an hour a day and just watching what the markets would do when they would hit these lines so this is we're getting into something a little more technical so it's going to take patience and practice for you to understand this but trust me when i tell you you'll understand it your eye will become more trained as you look at this on your thinker swim charts as you go along it's uh how do i explain it it's it's just like anything else i mean you'll you'll gain a a visual perception of it in a in a better way as you see it on a daily basis and it will it will make more sense so uh we'll have a look at that just in just a few minutes so this is what I mean when I say that the areas have broken through. Okay, here's your support level right here. Okay, and here's, here's your resistance level. Okay, everything was working really well. See, they, the, the candlestick hit the, the support level, started going up. It hit the resistance level, started going back down. Okay. Up, it hit it hit the uh, support level, and it started coming back down. Now here's where it broke through, okay, the support. So now the support line now becomes the resistance line, and you have to uh, previous resistance becomes support, and you have to draw a new resistance line. Does that make sense? <laughs> <laughs> so this will become the new ceiling and this will become the new floor okay it's just reversed itself so now things started going and it, we totally forget about this area down here now okay now we're trading now we're going to start trading this zone this is the zone you want to concern yourself with now okay and you you do that once once the price breaks through okay that resistance okay so you need to wait till the price breaks through if you're going to draw a new a new line for your resistance and, and have this considered support okay 
So I hope that makes sense to you. <laughs> okay.